What's up guys, Mike here, the Detroit Borg with the all new LG Super UHD TV for 2018. Now this replaces the NanoCell TV from last year, which I also featured on my channel. Now we still have the NanoCell display technology on this TV, but it has seen a number of significant upgrades, including full array LED backlighting for more precise local dimming. Now, this is a big improvement over the edge lighting common to most LCD class TVs. This is also the latest product to join LG's ThinQ AI platform platform, which allows LG's suite of devices to work together. Also exciting is the addition of the Google Voice Assistant built right into WebOS. Now I've been a fan of LG TVs for a number of years, so I want to thank them for hooking me up with their newest model so I can take a close look at it and for sponsoring this video. So the version I'm looking at here is the top of the line 65 inch SK95, which is also available as a 55 inch. Now there's a number of models in this range with most of them sharing the same features and display, but this is the most stylish of them all and we'll take a closer look at some of those premium details. Now if you want to know more about the available models and sizes, I'll leave that linked in the description below so you can check it out. So one of those premium details that stands out is the solid metal crescent shaped stand which has a really nice light gold or champagne finish. The stand comes in multiple pieces which you can put together pretty easily and the screws are included in the box. Now before taking the packaging off of the TV I want to install the stand first by laying the TV down on the box so I have enough clearance. There is a cover panel on the back that pops off really easily so you can slot the stand into place and screw it down. Once everything is installed, you can pop the panel back on, which keeps it very nice and seamless. Now, speaking of seamless, the stand also has built-in cable management. So I was able to route all of my cables, including my HDMI cables, through that channel. This means I no longer have those unsightly dangling cables spoiling my view. While we're back here, we can check out the ports, which are separated by rear facing and side facing. So the rear facing ports include one of the three USB ports, ethernet, optical audio out, and the composite AV port for the included patch cable. On the side, we get no less than four HDMI ports and two more USB ports. Also new with this generation is a set of really impressive down-facing speakers with Dolby Atmos, which really surprised me. Most onboard speakers tend to sound pretty thin or flat, but these speakers deliver really rich and detailed sound that manages to fill a room without adding satellite speakers. So if you want to avoid adding a sound bar, this TV is definitely the one to look at. Also included is LG's Magic Remote Controller. This is a pretty familiar design for LG. We've seen this for a number of years. This has an accelerometer built into it, so you can actually mouse around on the screen by waving the remote in the air. It works extremely well. I'm actually a big fan of this remote. We also have a scroll wheel on the D-pad so you can mouse around on the interface. And we have all pretty familiar universal controls such as a voice button for interacting with the TV as well as some dedicated hot buttons for Amazon and Netflix right on the remote. So with a stand in place, we can get the TV upright and pull off the rest of the packaging. We have a few more pieces of plastic to pull off along the edges and the sides. The sides of the TV have this really nice gold metallic detail which matches the gold finish on the stand. It's definitely not as thin as an OLED TV, but the design here is still really attractive. The plastic backside of the TV has a smooth textured finish that looks and feels a lot like brushed metal. Besides the ports, the only other thing we'll find back here is a vent along the top to keep the chassis cool. Now the panel on this TV uses two technologies to improve image quality and brings it closer to the performance of OLED. One of them is the NanoCell display which improves the color vibrancy, contrast, and off-angle performance. So there is very little distortion when viewing this TV from multiple angles. In fact, LG has a really great demo showing you how this technology works in real life. And I'll leave that demo linked in the description below so you can check it out. But the big news really with this generation is full array LED backlighting, which not only makes the display noticeably brighter, but also allows the TV to precisely control the lighting to preserve contrast and minimize light bleeding. This substantially improves the black levels while punching up the highlights. This makes this TV fantastic for HDR content since it's able to produce extremely vibrant colors and vivid contrast. Speaking of HDR, this supports all the major formats like Dolby Vision, Advanced HDR by Technicolor, HDR10, and HLG. Local dimming is something you can adjust under settings. In fact, you can turn it completely off, and this is where you can really demonstrate how this works. So when local dimming is turned on, you'll see those black levels drop down and those highlights pop out, and it definitely makes a big difference. 
All of this technology is especially important for an HDR display. So for HDR formats, you need a bright display with a lot of contrast and vibrant colors to really get effective results. And that's definitely the case in this panel. It's extremely vibrant and very bright and crisp without blowing out the black levels. One of the other great new features with this TV is Google Voice Assistant. So this used to be exclusive to Android TV OS. So now we get it in WebOS, which is still my favorite interface for smart TVs. So once you've activated the Google Assistant on your TV, once you hit the button on the remote controller, you get full access to the Google Voice Assistant and all of its features. So in the end, this TV really made me like LCD again. It solves many of the problems of traditional LCD by giving us true black levels, along with great off-axis viewing and bright vivid colors with NanoCell, but we also get a fantastic set of Dolby Atmos speakers and one of the best OSs for any smart TV. So overall, this is a great package. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed this look at LG's latest Super UHD TV. If you guys wanna know more, I'll leave a link in the description below. If you guys enjoyed this video, please let me know with a like, and I'll see you again in my next video.